and that's what the SAF is about. You bring your dreams, you bring your willpower, and from that you have the environment, we have the resources, and the instructors are there to put your dream to life. And I believe that it's, it's an experience that's there for everybody, and if you can get it, grab it, and make the most of it. I am Zinzi Sama Kalima. I am 20 years of age, and I'm from KZN Market, born in uh, Titana, Eastern Cape. that's now the serious part but in general I enjoy flying I love the breathtaking views and I thought that this would be the best environment um, for me to actually grow as a person to my fullest potential because it's dynamic and obviously in its dynamics we learn how to fly within those dynamics and learning the precision and learning the finesse that comes with that flying I think this is the best place for me because then I get the best out of my skill you know so this is why I chose to, to be here in the SAF. Specifically. We'll do a number of checks and procedures routing out to the sector. Let's just recap on that. What checks and procedures between takeoff are you going to do? Um, between, let's say, turning out to the sector and um, arriving at the sector. We will complete the E4 checks at 5,000 foot yes. and we'll then transfer the QE onto the altimeters also. Then we'll do a high check from there once we've leveled off at 5 level 70, another E4 check, and we'll continue with the ECTM checks, so certain that we have all the parameters coming. Yes, that's good. Um, training started for me at uh, Central Flying School last year, so it's been a year and five months to date. Your <laughs> first day, wow, it was, it was, it was nerve-wracking. Um, I was very anxious and um, I believe I speak also for my group and I say we were all very anxious. Um, I remember when we met our FC and he spoke to us just highlighting the fact that this is a very prestigious and a great opportunity and what we make out of it will become that which we get. So everything that is within us is going to be tested mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally and we need each other to actually um, make it work. So that was quite a, a, an awakening for us and I believe that after we, we, we got a hang of a few things we, the ball was rolling and we were able to actually um, find our way going forward on, on this course so that was the first part of the anxiety and as the pressure built up we, we found our way forward. undergo a big transformation when you become a military aviator as I said it entails you mentally physically emotionally spiritually so with that being said I, I, I believe that I became more aware of my environment in terms of situational awareness aware of myself aware of what's going on around me because that's important when it comes to flying so that has been quite enhanced um, my level of um, anticipation has also increased because when you're flying you always have to be ahead of the aircraft anticipate what's going to happen next so that also has increased quite extensively so I, I see it also maybe let me say in driving so in driving it will feel like I'm driving much more slower but when you're flying you're flying faster so your mind gets that 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 rate of thinking that's quite fast so you adapt very easily and I think the main one that I really love it's it's just the calmness and the control that one learns to adapt because when you're handling emergencies, when you are in an aircraft, you know the last thing you want to do is panic. You always need to be in control of the aircraft. You always need to be calm to assess what's happening with the aircraft so that you can actually get the right input. So um, learning that and incorporating that in my life has been something that has been great for me. So that, that's, that's one of the highlights, this calmness, control, don't panic, always in control mode. Yeah. 
it's it's a whole package everything is here it's life-changing you're growing as a person you're enjoying what you're doing there is um, so much change that's happening there's adventure so it, it's something that I believe that a young person would start here and from there progress forward into their life it would be a great step for them because you realize yourself what you're actually capable um, of this is the one place that I feel like you get to be pressured and you get to experience life from all different angles and to see that coming to life, I think, is, is, an, is an amazing thing. That's why it's such an honor to be wearing military aviator wings. So I would definitely recommend it for somebody to, to join.